All right, this is the Eva Euro cylinder uh, that Wayne sent me. He asked me to see if I could figure out how to take it apart, and I've got it mostly apart. What I did first was I put the key in, turned it, and I uh, was able to remove the C-clips on both sides. Um, and then I was able to pull the thumb turn side out. There's a small pin in there that goes inside. Then uh, this piece goes in here. This is your plug with the key pins. And then I just used the follower to go through once I had the thumb turn out. I haven't taken this apart yet um, to see what's inside. Let's see what kind of key pins we have. Standard, 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 all standard key pins. It's a little hard to do through the camera. Um, see if I can get this one at a time. Very long driver, another long driver, another long, oh, wow, there's a large pin. Spool. So you got three standards. Got three standards and two spool pins in this. Um, I have no idea if I'll be able to get this all back together, but I'm certainly going to try. I'm pretty sure that there's a special tool for popping the C-clips off. Um, and I still got to see if there's any blanks available for these in the Yoko book. Uh, another spring, I think that came out of the back. So kind of a complicated lock, not really what we're used to here with a knob cylinder and a mortise cylinder, but certainly manageable. Um, thanks for watching this. Check out keypicking.com.